Hello friends, I am Paras from Gleaming Videos and you are watching Learn VBA without coding skills. So in previous videos, we have covered that how to create banded rows using VBA. If you have not watched that video, so please watch that video. Like we have to fill the data in every alternate row. In today's video, I am gonna show you how to create banded rows if we have dynamic data. In that video, we knew that we have 999 rows filled and we have 7 columns. But if we don't know, if we have only 4 columns, then how we can identify that in how many columns we have data and in how many rows we have the data. So first we will have to analyze how many rows are filled and how many columns are filled. So let me remove some columns from here. Control minus and let me remove some rows as well. So now we have 494 rows so now in previous video we run this loop from 1 to 999 because we knew that we have 999 rows and we colored 7 columns from A to G because we knew that we have data from column A to column G but in today's video we don't know how much data we have how many columns we have and how many rows we have so how to so our first thing would be identify how many columns we have and how many rows we have so this time we will run this loop from 1 to x where x is an integer because now we don't know how many rows we have so how to get the rows so we if we manually select the last last row of the sheet and then we press ctrl up arrow then we can get the last row of this data so the same thing we will do using VBA and same goes for columns as well. We will select the rightmost cell column IV or we can select column Z if we have some idea because we have 4 columns only. So we can select column Z and then we can press control left arrow. Then we will get the last column of the data. So let's start. So to get the rows first select range A 65,000 dot select then we'll press control up arrow so how we can press control up arrow using vba so selection dot end in brackets xl up so it means we are pressing control and up arrow dot select so first we will run these lines only we will press f8 so re range a 6500 dot select so you can see if A65000 has been selected. Now again press F8. So see range A494 has been selected. So how can we get our row number from this cell? So our X would be active cell dot row. So it will give us the row number of active cell because this cell is active. So to get the row number of this cell, we'll use active cell dot row. So we'll move this up and press F8. So you can see now X has 494. So we'll run this loop from 1 to 494 guys. This is what we are trying to get. Now this is done for rows. Now we'll do the same thing for columns as well. So again range z1 dot select. So I'm ranking the code and moving this up and running the code again and again. So this will help you to create a step by step so that you can understand what is going on. Are you writing the correct code or not? So you can write the code and run the code simultaneously. So z1 has been selected. Now we'll press control left arrow. So copy this selection dot and excel to left these are four commands excel to left excel to right and excel up and excel down so to get the rows we pressed control up arrow means excel up and to get the column we will press control left arrow means excel to left 
so again you run this line then z1 dot select because the z1 has been selected now we will press this so see d1 has been selected but then but we don't know the column number so how we will get the column number again y as in teaser we'll have to run it again because we have declared a new variable so y equals to active cell dot column so now we'll again run it we can use breakpoint here to stop the program so it has been stopped here now we can press f8 from here so x has 494 now z1 has been selected control left arrow and y equals to active cell dot column means y will be 4 so we will run this loop from 1 to x but how we will write 4 here because last time we had the data from a to g but we cannot write 4 here so we can use cells command inside range so range first cell cells first cell will be row index i and the column will be 1 bracket close comma last cell cells row index would be i and the column index would be y so it means it will select from 1 1 means range a 1 2 range 1 4 means column d so let's run it and see so we press f8 so this time we will take a different color 188 188 and 188 now we press f8 because i is equal to 1 so condition is not true then we will again press f8 now you can see from a2 to d2 has been changed because this range is like a2 because i equals to 2 and column is 1 so our first variable is for row so we have written i here and our second variable is for column and this is for d2 because i is always 2 in second iteration and the value of y is 4 so means 4 is d then d2 so the color of this range from a2 to d2 will be changed to this color so again in third iteration it will be false condition will not be true because i equals to 3 and 3 mode 2 is not 0 3 mode 2 is 1 condition is not true again i is 4 i mode 2 equals to 0 yes condition is true then this time i4 to d4 will be filled with different color so you can see darker color it is a darker color so we, now we can press f5 so see so we can increase the rows we can increase the columns so you increase the rows and increase the columns and try to run it again so if you like this video then please subscribe our channel glamming videos and thanks for watching we'll meet in next video thank you so much bye bye